think it's it's definitely a cry for um, more culturally sensitive and culturally adapted medicine from coast to coast to coast. The pulse oximeter, usually put on a patient's fingertip, estimates the amount of oxygen in the blood without having to draw a blood sample. Invented in the 1970s, it is said to have revolutionized hospital care, showing second by second what's going on with the oxygen in one's blood. They are often used to treat patients with COVID-19, but multiple factors can affect the accuracy of a pulse oximeter reading, like fingernail polish, poor circulation, skin thickness, but one factor Actor has left some in disbelief. A recent report showing that readings may be inaccurate in patients with darker skin. Uh, this parameter is really key in saying, would you uh, give oxygen to this patient or would you give uh, some other drugs to treat them? It is extremely concerning that, that uh, this uh, thing could be happening. Skin tone, actually, there, 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 there's five classifications or gradations of skin tone that, that um, we talk about in medicine, uh, from lightest to darkest. Um, and um, at the darker end of the skin tones, uh, with uh, many pulse oximeters, um, there can be a, a, a difference um, of two or three uh, percentage points um, in the measurement uh, of oxygen in the blood. In many cases, the FDA says that the difference may be small. However, there is a risk that an inaccurate measurement may result in unrecognized low oxygen saturation levels. Dr. Salim Razak says despite the small percentage difference, it's still important to be aware of the device's limitations. You know, our work, in, if we, you know, particularly uh, in my setting, has been about making sure that people are well trained to understand uh, that this exists and to um, uh, to uh, act accordingly. A recent study by the New England Journal of Medicine titled Racial Bias in Pulse Oximetry Measurement found that the pulse oximeter overestimated oxygen levels 3.6% of the time in white patients and for black patients overestimated nearly 12% of the time. These members of vulnerable communities, marginalized communities, indigenous black communities really Consider joining one of the patients committee of the hospital where you go, where you get your care, your local hospital, as long as you use the service of the hospital and have had even a blood test there. You can contribute to the dialogue and advocate for patients' rights, advocate for your community to get optimal care. I think it's important to know and to be accurate so that you can sort of care for the patient the best that you can. I think we should do exactly the same to adapt better our devices, our medical devices, to the patient that we treat so we can better serve them, so we can better serve the ensemble of our society. In Montreal, Pamela Pagano, City News.